everyone. It's good to see you again this week. Um, it's the second Sunday of Advent already. So you know there's four weeks of Advent. And so we lit the first candle last week. We've got the second one lit now. And we talked last week about what these things mean, what some of these candles mean, what the wreath means. And last week, the first candle was to remind us of hope. The second candle symbolizes our faith. And it's like, think about in our Bible stories when we read about Mary and Joseph and they ride on the donkey into Bethlehem for Jesus. They followed God's message. They followed what they knew in their hearts God wanted. They had the faith to do what God was asking of them. And, and we got Jesus as a result of their faithfulness. So that's what the second candle of the Advent wreath reminds us of. But I'm gonna show you some pictures today of different different things. And I want you to, um, to say um, what each of these jobs, these pictures might represent. So I think this first one will be easy. If I show you this picture, do you know what, what who would wear that? Yeah, a fireman. And so what is his job? He puts out fires. Great. So when you see this, what, what would the person who stands in the front of this do? They'd be a teacher, right? They would teach you and they would help you learn. That's really, really good. Okay, this one might be a little bit more difficult. What is that? It's a shovel. And what might the person do who uses this for work? Maybe they would help build houses or um, set up utilities, you know, like the cable or the internet in, in a neighborhood. Things like that. Okay, one more. Do you guys know what that is? It's a library. So what would that person that work in works in the library do? They help you find books that you might want to be reading or um, things that you might be interested in. So those are all kinds of um, jobs that people might have. But who would wear something that looks like that? Who might wear something that looks like that? It would be someone who follows Jesus, like you or me, or, or people in your family or your friends, right? Anyone who follows Jesus might wear a necklace that looks like that. And But what would they do in their job? What do we do in our job as followers of Jesus? We invite others to follow Jesus. That's what we do. And I know it can be difficult for us to know how to follow Jesus. So God sends us helpers. And our helpers are our parents and our teachers and church leaders and even the Bible, right? You guys all have Bibles. That helps us to follow Jesus. And in the Bible, we learn that God sent someone special. He sent John the Baptist as a helper prepare the way for Jesus. So I'm going to read you today's gospel reading and I want you to listen to the story of John the Baptist as he prepares the way for Jesus. So a reading from the gospel according to Mark. May Christ's words be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. This is the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Isaiah the prophet wrote, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way for you. He will proclaim, prepare the way for the coming of God, make a straight path for our God. And so John the baptizer came, telling everyone to change their lives and be baptized so their sins would be forgiven. Many people around Jerusalem went to the desert to see John. They confessed their sins and were baptized in the Jordan River. John wore clothes made from the hair of camels, and he wore a leather belt around his waist. He ate locusts, which are like grasshoppers, 
and wild honey. When he preached, he always said, someone else is coming after me. He is more powerful than I am. I am not even worthy to untie his sandals. I am baptizing you in water, but he will baptize you in the Holy Spirit, the gospel of the Lord. And we all say, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So during Advent, um, I'm sorry, John the Baptist taught the people the importance of repenting of their sins. And as a sign of forgiveness, those who repented were then baptized by the prophet John. And John also told the people to look for someone who was going to be even greater than he was. And that person we know is Jesus, right? So that's um, John was that messenger for all of us. And during Advent, we all ask God to forgive our sins and we look for better ways to be followers of Jesus. And some, tell me, think about this. What are some of the things we can change in our lives to make us a better follower of Jesus? What are some of the things that you can do in your life? So like maybe you can be more loving and caring and thoughtful and helpful and hardworking. All those wonderful things. And maybe you thought of some on your own as well that I didn't even say. And when we do these things, like being more thoughtful and loving and caring, we become more like John the Baptist. And through our actions, we invite others to follow Jesus. Because we know that that's why we're doing all these good things. We're doing them for Jesus. So let's all choose one thing this week that we can change in our lives so that we are better followers of Jesus. So one thing that you can do this week so that you can be a better follower of Jesus. Think about that for a second. Okay, now let's um, pray together for the strength to prepare the way for Jesus by staying faithful to our promises of our baptism. Um, we're going to make a sign of the cross um, as a silent promise to the one thing you're going to do this week to be a better follower of Jesus. And then we're going to say a special prayer to the Holy Spirit. So let's think again about the one special thing we're going to do and make the sign of the cross as our promise to Jesus. And let's say the prayer. I don't know if you know this prayer to the Holy Spirit, but it's a really beautiful prayer. And it goes like this. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Lord, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. In the same spirit, help us relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, you guys, have a great week. We'll see you again next week, and we'll light next week the rose-colored candle. God bless. Bye.